my, 18f, stepbrother, 20m, wrote creepy sex stories with us as the main characters. My mom and dad got divorced four years ago. After the divorce, my mom quickly found a new guy and dragged me halfway across the country to marry him. Now I live with him and his son David together in his house. I always found David a bit weird and strange. He is more of a loner and hasn't really any friends so I tried to be friendly to him. I pretended to show interest in his hobbies and gave him fashion advice. But I guess this was a mistake since he started making awkward jokes about how weird it would be if we started dating. He also started to give me unwanted compliments and be began acting really bitter towards my boyfriend. I talked to him about this and put an end to this or so I thought. Yesterday I texted him to ask if I could move a series from his hard drive onto my laptop and he told me where to find his hard drive. It wasn't where he said it would be so I looked through his desk and found what I thought was the same hard drive. I plugged it into my laptop and quickly realized it wasn't the same one that he kept the series on. It only had one folder titled Sex Stories. At that point, I should have stopped looking but I didn't. I know snooping is wrong and I really have no excuse. As it turned out the folder contained over 30 sex stories my stepbrother wrote himself. I didn't read all of them but the few I read all followed more or less the same pattern. The protagonist, who resembles my stepbrother has a crush on his stepsister who looks exactly like me. The protagonist is a great guy and not like all these awful guys who don't respect her or women in general but his stepsister won't see it until some bullsh backslash t happens. Stepsister's BF dumps her for another girl and she finds comfort in her stepbrother's arms or stepsister's BF leaves her shortly before prom and she is forced to go with her stepbrother but finds out how great he is or he saves his stepsister from a drunk in a bar, you get the idea. Then they proceed to have the greatest sex ever and his stepsister falls in love with him and finally sees what a great guy he is. This whole stuff was truly creepy and freaked the fuck out of me. I got genuinely scared of my stepbrother but when when I told my parents about this they didn't really seem to care and just told him to delete the stories. I got really angry at my parents for not taking my worries seriously. I packed my things and left to stay with my best friend. I don't know where to go from here. What should I do next? Too long didn't read, my stepbrother wrote creepy sex stories with us as the main characters. Don't go back home, or install locks on the bedroom door. Don't hang out or talk with your stepbrother. Tell another adult about this. Don't stay silent. This is creepy behavior that could lead to something worse than stories. Is moving back to your dad's an option? Or out on your own? He's an adult in age but it sounds like he needs to have an intervention with his dad. Assuming your stepdad's a decent guy, and hear that life isn't Pornhub plot lines. Failing that stepdad puts stepbrother into therapy if not already. Is moving back to your dad's an option? It would be difficult because he lives halfway across the country. Reddit's about to eat this shit up lol. If this is real, then you are old enough to move out, and I think you should. Yeah it seems fake AF. Naming a folder sex stories is a rookie move and considering his age is downright unbelievable. If this is all true, damn that is creepy. Getting strong nice guy vibes from your brother. It's time to start packing and finding somewhere else to live. He seems to be escalating in his attempts. Again, if this is true, this was a coordinated plan to bring you into his fantasy world. He has submitted his kinks onto you without consent and the first rule of anything kink friendly is never put your kinks on someone without their consent. I wish you the best, but if your parents aren't listening it's time to do like Spongebob and head out. That is genuinely terrifying and I'm appalled that your parents aren't taking this seriously. Please don't return home and if you do have a lock installed on your bedroom door. This is actually the plot for every Pornhub video lately. This step fantasy shit is getting out of hand. I, 29F, discovered my husband, 31M, is trying to destroy me financially and mentally. We have been married for 5 years and have a son together who is about 3 years old. I know this sounds like a cliche but he had been sweet and kind. Lately though, he seems distant and argues about life. Covid lockdowns really did damage his mindset more than mine but he had been already distant since last summer. I wanted to discuss with him about what's wrong and work this out but today, I found 
found a disturbing post on Quora, his laptop was left open and showed the post, I know it was from him because he uses mine and son's full names. In that post, he was bragging about him cheating on me for a 20 year old female, beginning at the start of 2019. He says that even if I caught him cheating, I would have little choice but to stay for the sake of family. And in the off chance, or so he thought, that I force a divorce. He could take my son away forever and I would never see him again but still be responsible for alimony and child support. Since I have a higher paying job, he figures he can get rich off of me. I was immediately shocked and I seriously don't know what to do. I fear that I may never see my son again if I file for divorce but at the same time, I can't trust this man anymore and my son could be mentally affected by all of this. What should I do? Screenshot the posts and lawyer up. You and your child do not need that kind of horrible person in your life. Take a picture of the post and go straight to a lawyer. He can't take your son completely away from you, despite what he claims. Screenshot the posts and get a divorce lawyer ASAP. Deleted. Take screenshots of the post and store them securely, then prepare a good exit strategy, keeping discretion in mind until you're ready to act openly. Check the facts, as he might be just farming internet points or whatever Quora gives you, but assume the worst frown. If this is the worst case scenario, lawyer up and don't let him even think he might succeed with those ill plans of his. This. Also, use multiple secure storage places for the evidence. Get it on a flash drive and hand it to your divorce lawyer. Make several copies with several flash drives and keep them in a safety deposit box at a bank with only your name on it or keep it with a trusted family member. Don't give him any indication of what you're planning because I feel like it wouldn't be safe for you and in the meantime, try and gather further evidence when it is safe to do so. Have a plan to evacuate if you need to and maybe let a trusted friend or family member know in case you need them to protect or support you. Check out Pro Revenge and Pro Divorce for better advice but Spend a few months pretending everything is great Smile, nod, put out if you have to, sorry, but give him no clues Keep it in mind that no matter how great he seems during this time he is the man who wrote that post and does not love you During those months go through his phone, go through his computer, hire a pie save everything every post every embarrassing picture go to consultations with a handful of the best divorce attorneys in town i cannot give you legal advice but i have heard a rumor they can't take his half of the case if they have done a consultation with you have your direct deposit moved into a new account and absolutely viciously blindside him take your time do it slowly become the vengeful bitch he deserves there may be other things you can do to make the proceedings go more your way like taking a temporary leave from your job. Hit him twice as hard as he would hit you. Do not visit all the best lawyers to prevent him using them. That will get you in huge trouble with the judge as it's a known tactic of vindictive exes. Go for the best first and when you find the one that works best for you stop shopping around. You don't want the judge to think you're in bad faith. How do I 27 meters? support my brother 29 meters, and his marriage after his fiance 27 f cheated during her bachelorette party. I'll try to keep this as brief as possible and for anonymity I will refer to my brother as Jack and his fiance as Jill. My brother Jack and his fiance Jill have been together for about 4 years and engaged since early 2019. I really liked them together and felt that Jill was the first marriage material girlfriend that my brother dated. The wedding was planned for earlier this year but was cancelled indefinitely after it was discovered that Jill cheated during her bachelorette trip five months before the wedding. She had no intention of ever telling him but he found out when he saw a text from a friend of hers that was on the trip. The text basically said I don't know how I can stand up in front of your families and give a toast after what happened. After a few days of trickle truths and arguing it came out that Jill had sex with someone while drunk. Jack was devastated and called off the wedding immediately. They broke up and about a month later 
Jack was in a new city with a new job. This seemed like the best possible scenario since he was away from her and had new things to keep his mind busy. Well that lasted all of a few weeks and slowly Jill was getting back into his life. Now, a little over a year after the incident she has moved in with him in his new city and just last week they became re-engaged. What? Exclamation mark. I have absolutely no respect for Jill or any cheater for that matter, and I don't understand how Jack can see past what she did. There is no excuse for cheating and to do it during a bachelorette party shows you have no respect for your partner or potential marriage. The first time I saw Jill after she cheated which was at a family holiday only two months later, I was a little nasty and got scolded by Jack and my mother. From that point forward I have basically given Jill the grey rock treatment. I don't engage with her unless she says something first and when I do talk to her my answers are short. I assumed that they were doomed to fail and I would just have to put up with her until Jack finally came to his senses. Now that they are re-engaged, it looks like I am going to have to put up with Jill longer than I expected and I'm not sure I can keep up the grey rock routine. There's only so many year, hours left in me before I snap and say hey, remember when you fucked that guy? My question is how can I be supportive of my brother and his marriage when I have no respect for his partner whatsoever? I think, for the most part, you're totally in the right for how you feel about Jill and what she did. At a certain point though, I think you will need to examine where the line is where your hatred of Jill begins to hurt your brother. You obviously despise her, I probably would too, and the pain she caused to your brother and family. However, life is messy and some couples sometimes reconcile, even after infidelity. If they stay together and their marriage is successful, at some point your hatred will be the thing hurting your brother as much as or more. If the pain fades over time, then Jill's cheating. Focus your energy on being there for your brother, rather than hating her. Grey Rock for now, but keep an eye out for your brother's best interests, since he's the one you want to support. If, down the line, he decides he made a mistake getting back together with her, you can be the one to embolden him. However, if he really forgives her, it will be up to you to try to as well. If you're close with your brother, you may also want to talk to him honestly about what's going through his head right now. I'm sure he's confused, but there may also be layers to the story you don't know. Nothing that would justify the cheating, but perhaps something that would justify the forgiveness. Yeah, I'd be an asshole and ask when's the second bachelorette trip in front of everybody. You might want to ask if a personal GPS for her is out of the question for a wedding gift. Tell your brother to get a prenuptial agreement. This marriage will end in disaster. Yep, I got $20 that says she goes out, gets drunk and bangs another dude within the first two years of marriage. Ask him when's the next bachelorette party.